know I'm not supposed to be filming vertically, but it's Thursday. It's Thursday and I don't have a video. So I'm <clears throat> sorry. I'm sitting in my car. I got an hour for lunch because I'm at a district meeting and uh, I'm like, what's going to be the topic of my video? But I kind of had it like in my head. I just don't have any time to film it. Uh, so you're just going to have to bear with me for this like one time because you're just going to have to bear with me. Okay. So <clears throat> maybe I can figure out some other way to do it. No, totally not the point. The point is, um, my students and I read The Pedestrian by Ray Bradbury this week. And I asked them, what are three things that you believe will not be around in 20 years? Uh, and three of the things that they came up with was cash, credit cards, and keys. Like, keys like the kind that you keeps all right so based on that I have my recommendations on where I would and would not be spending my money um, in 2023 if I'm looking to buy luxury items that have longevity and then the things that I would purchase in their place so the number one thing that I would not be purchasing in 2023 is a Louis Vuitton six ring key holder um, this is the one that opens up. I should have brought mine. I'm not using it. I have actual keys and I'm still not using it. Um, it's the one that opens up and it has the key rings on the inside. There are a million videos on this. The ironic thing is that on YouTube, this was probably one of the most hyped items. I was totally influenced to purchase this item. The Louis Vuitton six ring key holder was the item that you didn't know that you needed, but is the essential. Everybody must have it. Well, now keys, I'm one of the last people that has like a turn key in my car and um, everything's moving to digital and fobs. And I hear people say like they have their six ring key holder for their keys and then they take their fobs separately. I just don't really see the point to that. Um, my keys reside in my mini pochette for the most of the time, and then they just sit in my desk drawer. Don't tell my students that because we don't want them finding my keys. But yeah, I just, um, I would not be investing in this. I think physical keys are going to go away, and it's $325 for the Louis Vuitton six ring key holder. I think the key pouch, any key pouch, is a much better buy because. I have mine right here and you can get them from many different uh, luxury or non-luxury places. The key pouch has this opening that you can put a bunch of cards in and it also has this um, that you can attach it to something else. Um, but the key pouch, let's say cash and cards both go away. The key pouch can house many other items like band-aids, medication. Um, any, any small item. I've put eyeliner in here and lip liner. So I would invest in one of these. It's roughly the same price. And I just feel like in 20 years, you can still find a use for this. Whereas if we don't have keys anymore, you're not going to be able to use a six ring key holder. The second thing I would definitely not be investing in right now, and I would still use that key pouch, um, is a wallet. Because if cash and cards are not going to be around, what the heck are we going to need a wallet for? Especially the long wallets. Like, I don't even know why they're still making these. Who's using the long wallet? If you're using the long wallet, I do not mean that to be a judgment. I am just saying, like, I, it's so, it's big. It's so big. And I have three cards. Three. Total. And they're all in that key pouch. Uh, I have a $20 bill also in that key pouch. Um, I just don't really see the need for a giant wallet in 20 years. I feel like it's going to be the cigarette holder. Remember cigarette holders? Your grandparents had those and now there really is, you can't buy a cigarette holder unless you buy it vintage. So I do believe that the cigarette holder, it's out. C cigarette holder is out. I'm sorry. I'm really trying to get this done on my lunch break. Um, I do believe that a large wallet is out. Like don't, don't be doing the large wallet thing or even a small wallet. Just get a card holder or again, get the key pouch. Um, also, uh, I don't think that any kind of tech accessories like AirPods holders or a luxury phone case, I would not be spending my money on that. I am super excited for next week. 
because it's my birthday, um, but also because the new iPhone is going to be announced and I'm getting a new iPhone. I am not one of those, um, you know, bag luxury vloggers, whatever that is anti-tech or like, I don't even know what phone I have. <laughs> no, no, no. I know exactly what phone I have and I'm getting a new one and I upgrade every single year and I want the best and the brightest in tech because this is everything. Oh gosh. My coworkers are pulling in. They're probably like, what is she doing? Okay. So, um, no tech accessories that are luxury. Just buy like an Apple case, buy a big case off of Amazon, but no iPhone or no luxury cases. Um, and then what would I purchase? I know everyone's going to say other than key pouch, everyone's going to say like, this is a bad investment. Um, they, I, I just see a lot of hate for this item recently on YouTube, but I would purchase a mini push out. Think about this. This thing could be used as a wallet. It can be used as a key holder. It can be used as a small bag. It can be used as a bag organizer. This is multifunctional. So yes, it's gone up in price. It's not what it was priced before, but cars aren't priced what they were priced before either. Nothing is really priced what it was priced before. I find this such a worthy investment. I would buy this over any other SLG just because it is so multifunctional. So I think that you will use a mini pochette in 20 years. So I would not be buying any tech accessories. I would not be buying any six ring key holders and I would not be buying any wallets. Take it for what you will. That is my lunchtime minute. I did it all. <laughs> I got it done. I did not vlog at all. Like it was bad guys. It was just bad. Next week is my birthday. So hopefully I'll have a lot of vlog footage, but this week I just, it was an epic fail. I was a failure, but I still got it done on time. Thank you for watching, like, and subscribe if you feel my pain in getting all of this information out to you. Um, and give it a thumbs up if you agree that those tech accessories, long wallets, wallets of any kind, and a six ring key holder should not be on your wish list this year.